Wow. Hey, it's Nadine. Today I'm doing a look I've been sporting a lot to school, Korean inspired makeup. So let's get started! Starting off with a fresh face, our first step is to add a bit of glow to the skin. I'm using this essence I got from my Althea box. I'm dotting it all over my face and blending it in. Time to protect the skin with some sunblock. I'm loving this one from Charm Zone as it does not make my skin feel oily. Instead, it hydrates the skin and surprisingly dries matte. Another plus to this is that it smells fragrant and fresh. As always, I'm using my favorite lip balm from Carmex to moisturize my lips. For foundation, I mix a cushion foundation from Etude House, a liquid foundation from Revlon, and a moisturizer just because I don't like the heavy feeling of wearing a full face of foundation all day. I'm dotting this evenly onto my face and blending it in with a sponge. This mixture makes my skin look glowy and less dull. Time to cover the under eye circles. I use this foundation from Super Beauty that's a few shades lighter than my actual skin tone to cover my eye bags. I like drawing inverted triangles and blending it in with my sponge. It's brow time! I've been obsessed with my K-Palette eyebrow brush because it's not too abrasive on the eyebrows. I like to focus on the lower inner part of my eyebrow first and filling in these sparse areas, kind of in upward motions, then moving on to the middle and then the end. I like this product because when I use a pencil to fill in my eyebrows, I feel like I'm removing some of the hairs, but with this one, the brush is super gentle and application is even more precise. To add some color to my cheeks, I'm using this Happy Skin Mesh Blush. This product is so amazing, it smells good, the color is so fresh, but sometimes I feel like I over apply, so you just gotta be careful about that. To get a glow, I use the Tony Moly Luminous Highlighter. I love this little glow it gives off. I'm dotting it onto my cheeks and blending it in with my fingers. To make my eyes look more awake, I'm also applying this to my eyelids. To sort of set that all in, I'm using Canmix Eyeshadow Trio and using the shimmery shade all over my eyelids. For my eyeliner, I'm honestly just using a random eyeliner I found in my mom's makeup stash. Eyeliner is super tricky because it really depends on your eye shape. I like a shorter wing, so that's what I'm doing right now. But you should definitely just try out different lengths and wings on you and pick and choose whatever or whichever you feel most confident in. For my second eye, I got in a little pickle because the ink ran out as you can see. I'm really struggling on putting it on. But I guess I may do by just dotting it. <laughs> yeah, see me giving up. To set everything all in, and as always, I'm using my Vanilla Co. Loose Powder. This is my favorite powder ever. It doesn't cake the skin, and it really helps control my oiliness. Last step is to add some color to my lips. I'm just lightly dabbing the Innisfree Tinted Lip Balm onto my lips to give a subtle, natural look. As you can see, I love the simple, fresh Korean makeup look. I hope that you guys do too and that you've enjoyed this little tutorial. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye!